We are here with my main man Jerry King from J King Images and Jerry is a badass photographer and he just took some pictures of me and my buddy Chris who's behind the camera brought him up today and we and we came up here and took some pictures because we wanted to show you the advantage of getting a legit photographer like Jerry versus taking something on your iPhone. Obviously we know like cost, it's like, oh I don't have $300 to, to spend or whatever it is, but you get a lot more than that. So Jerry was talking, oh Jerry, what were you saying about, everyone has a DSLR camera these days, right? Everyone is a photographer, but, but not to put you in the spot, but I mean, you got all this awesome stuff. What is it that separates, how can you tell the difference between the pros versus the dude whose parents bought him a Canon? Okay, first of all, it's going to be hard as hell to follow up that intro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to tell you right okay. now. <laughs> but, you know, just by looking at the equipment, you can't tell. I mean, there's lots of amateurs who have tons of equipment. You know, money is not a way to get better. So you can discount someone just because of the lack of equipment he's got. But the thing, I think people just need to do their due diligence and get to know the photographer, sit down with the photographer. We're not all the same. Mm -hmm. Some people are better than others. Those people probably may be better than me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I got you. But seriously, you just got to get to know your photographer. But to justify the cost is everything. It, the whole premise of today, especially the way things are competitive, mm -hmm. you got to stand out. Okay. And the only way to stand out is to be different. Being different. And good. And good. Well, yeah, of course. So, with that in mind, so you say you, you need to know, you're kind of saying, as a client, like if I, if I was hiring you, I would need to have a vision of what I wanted. So, let's say we got coffee and I was kind of feeling you out and seeing if we would work together. What are, what are a few questions you wish clients would ask you more? I think the number one question I think clients would ask any potential photographer they're interested in working with is proof points. Okay. Ask them if they have proof points. You've got this vision, you know what you want to do. See if that photographer's ever done anything mm -hmm. along the lines of what you want and can, and can show you. Can actually say, I've worked with this client in the past, this is what I produced for them, this is similar to your vision. Mm -hmm. And look for consistency. And because and photographers, just like with musicians or even, even marketers and Facebook guys where there's like, like Chris just markets to realtors mm -hmm. and that's his specialty. Like do all photographers, is it good to look for one with a specialty? For, for what you're doing? It is good to look for someone especially. You don't want a real estate photographer doing your portraits nine times out of ten. Yeah. And you don't want a portrait photographer doing your architectural work unless mm -hmm. he's just truly that good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I specialize in people and I, I'm passionate about people. Mm -hmm. Like when you walked into the studio today, I saw your face and immediately I was like, I want to photograph that guy. And you let me. <laughs> he's humble. But, <laughs> but, you know, I just, I just saw the look and I said, well, I want to photograph it. Uh -huh. And when I saw it while you and Chris were here to ambush me with a video, yeah. <laughs> I decided, well, you know, let's trade. Yeah. So, absolutely. And what, uh, I got a, two, a few more questions for you. What do you like clients to come with? Like, if, like let's say for my website, I just wanted some pictures of me um, just showcasing off who I was and kind of building my brand or whatever, my personality and showcasing me. What do you want? clients to come with to be the best prepared to share their vision? Like should they come with a vision board in mind or some example pictures or? Vision board, lookbook. Okay. They should come with that to show the direction because I'm going to add a little bit of my flavor to it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's probably why they came to me. They like the look. Mm -hmm. But it's a cooperative thing where it's a co collaboration. Okay. And I'm taking your vision board, I'm adding a little my salt and pepper into the recipe and that's to come up with something that we're both happy with and you, the client. Can make you look good because if you look good i look good yeah and as far as wardrobe coming in your go-to outfit what okay. you feel comfortable with if it's those jeans and that t-shirt that's what you need to come in okay and then it's also important i'm glad you brought that up to to find a photographer that makes you feel comfortable in front of the camera yes because some and and i noticed this like when i first started getting pictures taken because when i was doing music you had to get a lot of that done is that a lot of times I didn't have a particular, I'm no photographer, so I don't have a particular vision. So I really liked today how you were kind of, you kind of just were like, do this, do that, do this. But you were watching how I reacted naturally and it seemed like you were able to blend the two together. Yeah. 
definitely watch you first. Okay. Because I might not have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Like when you stood out in front of the camera, I was watching you when I was getting ready. You were very confident. Uh, your body language was good. Uh, you didn't lean away from me, you leaned toward me. And all I did was I liked what I saw. I wanted to portray that in camera. And I wanted to enhance it in camera. So I wanted to give it a better reality. Okay. And that's why I just gave you minute poses and cues and that was it. And it really did make 10 times, if not more, difference when you showed me what I was doing before versus just making little small changes that opens up your body and just makes you a lot more photographable. Feels stupid, doesn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I was power posing, you know, like a Power Ranger or something. But, well, guys, this is Jerry King. He's awesome. And uh, where can we find you? What's your website? Where? Uh, www.jkingimages.com. Jkingimages.com. And look at it. And I update my blog a little bit more now. <laughs> Go check it out. Seriously, guys, this guy is a pro, and he can make your website look good, and he can bring out your personality and add value to your image and, and, and your brand, and that's exactly what you want to do. So, Jerry King, everyone. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. It. Absolutely. Awesome.